Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the press, press launch of the Ghana versus Nigeria friendly to be played here in London um, in August. Um, His Excellency, the High Commissioner of Ghana, Professor Kwefu Dansubuafo, members of the Ghana Football Association, the representative of the Nigerian Football Federation, March Agents Justin Ado, Randy Abe, board member of the Ghana Football Association, Samson Dean, the official um, travel agent for this game, Ghana captain John Mensa, Justin Ado, and Mr. Jairo Patron, the NFF's representative here. We'll have a little welcome address from Mr. Justin Ado, the match organizer, uh, before uh, we take uh, the, the opening address from His Excellency. Justin. Um, His Excellency the High Commissioner, um, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, um, people of the press, um, thank you so much for coming to this event. Once again, um, we've had the opportunity to stage another Ghana Nigeria game. The last in London, the last friendly against the two countries was four years ago, and we hope we're going to use this opportunity to improve the bond between the two countries. Um, even though it's a football game, there's a lot of rivalry between the two countries going back over 60 years. It's always a family bond. It's always, um, it's always a family rivalry. And we expect this game to go the same way the previous ones have gone. Um, in terms of why we're doing it here, I mean, Ghana, Nigeria are the two biggest teams in Africa. And they also have the biggest population of Africans in, in the UK as well. So we feel that this is an ideal place just at the beginning of the season for the two teams to test their readiness for the African Nations Cup at the end of the at the beginning of next year, as well as to test new players as well. Um, the match will be held on the night on Tuesday the 9th of August. Um, the kickoff will be at 8 p.m. <coughs> the game will be held at um, the biggest secret. The game will be held. <laughs> the, the game will be held at um, um, Vicarage, the Vicarage Race Stadium in Watford. Um, we're hoping that we get as many people as possible to come and support both countries. Um, probably people will wonder why Watford, in terms of Watford was chosen because of availability, and in terms of location as well, it's on the outskirts of London and it's got easy accessibility by transport as well. We're hoping that we can turn this into a family day out for families. So we've got a lot of interesting ticket packages for families, which I'll talk about later. But for now, I'll leave it to um, His Excellency to come and address you and welcome us. Thank you. Well, uh, Mr. Chairman of the uh, Football Association, uh, Mrs. Elizabeth Nicole, Deputy High Commissioner, uh, various sports personalities and media uh, individuals. I see my good friend uh, Mr. Mugabe and uh, uh, Mami and the Guba people and all the good people, my friends from Ben TV. Uh, you are all welcome to the Ghana High Commission. Indeed, it's a pleasure to have you this afternoon and as uh, we've been indicating, this is the kind of thing we like. We want you to visit us as often as possible, and if we can um, provide any services, please uh, let us know. I'm very uh, happy that uh, my dear brother Justin has already indicated the kind of close relationship we have with uh, brothers and sisters in Nigeria. Uh, as you all know, those of you who studied geography, if you didn't study geography, and uh, we probably have to go and read Geography of West Africa by Oboli. Um, even though Ghana and Nigeria do not have a common border, we tend to be closer uh, Africans than any other Africans on the continent. So this is one more uh, mechanism through which we can uh, continue to strengthen our relationship. So uh, I'm very happy to hear that uh, once again, uh, within a period of four years, uh, we are engaging in a football, friendly football match uh, with our brothers and sisters in Nigeria. 
we want to emphasize the term friendly. Uh, we want to appeal to all our brothers and sisters to ensure that this uh, becomes as friendly and peaceful uh, as possible. Uh, we, of course, uh, 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 Ghana, we intend to repeat the score, uh, uh, you know, four years ago. And uh, we, you know, I am an honorary coach of the Black Stars. Uh, so you, I bring in a whole new set of uh, techniques that I borrowed from uh, both uh, Diego Maradona, uh, Pele, and uh, Messi. And uh, I'm not going to include John Benson because he and I engaged in some discussions and for some reason he hasn't lived up to those discussions and I want to take this opportunity to remind him. But on a more serious note, we are happy to uh, have you and if there's anything we can do to make your presence here at the Ghana High Commission uh, more comfortable, please uh, let us know. We cherish the fact that uh, we are the official representatives of the government and people of Ghana, and we uh, continue to hold high the flag of Ghana. And in so doing, we want to also carry our brothers and sisters to Nigeria along. So uh, again, on behalf of the Ghana High Commission and on behalf of our government in Ghana, I want to welcome you and please enjoy your stay uh, here with us at the Ghana High Commission. Thank you. Thank you very much, His Excellency Professor Kweku Dansubuafo. I hope the Black Stars are listening. If uh, the captain is here, he'll pass on the message that they want to defeat uh, the Nigerians once again. But you remember that a couple of months ago, maybe two, three months ago, Ghana played England here in the UK. It was a one-sided affair, I mean fans-wise. The Black Star supporters were the only ones cheering. But this time, it is going to be two sides cheering. The Nigerians are coming here with power. The Black Star supporters are also coming here with power. Therefore, we bring the African flavor to the UK and give some excitement. The rivalry between Ghana and Nigeria is steep as far as not only in football lines, but in any facet of life. I remember when I was in the university in Ghana, uh, you know, we organized matches you know, between the Ghanaians, good Ghanaian players I'm involved, and, uh, and good Nigerian players on campus. It was as fierce as the Black Stars playing the Super Eagles. So we expect the same thing. So it wouldn't be a one-sided affair. Mr. Jairo Pachon is the exclusive match agent for Nigeria, and he also represents uh, the Nigerian Football Federation in many facets of life. He organized the famous uh, friendly between Nigeria and Argentina recently in Abuja, which was very well attended and very well received. He will also tell us a little bit about uh, what sort of preparation Nigeria are doing towards this game and what should the fans expect. Mr. Jairo Pachon. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, on behalf of the Nigerian Football Federation, uh, I can tell you that we are very excited about this match on the 9th of August against the Ghana national team. As, uh, uh, sorry, what's your name? Ibrahim. Ibrahim just mentioned, we were the company behind the Guinness the match, which uh, was a great achievement for us and for the Nigerian Football Federation, as well as for the Nigerian people to have had a uh, Argentina playing in Nigerian soil. Now we look forward to the uh, continuous building on the bringing a Nigerian Football Federation and the Super Eagles into uh, staging uh, top A-class matches in the preparation for Brazil World Cup 2014. And uh, we consider Ghana as one of the big teams of Africa, a great uh, achievement to play with them on the 9th of August. And we are very excited to play them uh, and look forward to it. Thank you. Thank, you. <laughs> Thank you very much, Mr. Jairo Pachon. Um, one man I'll call my brother, the board member of the Ghana Football Association. I worked under him at Choice FM in Ghana uh, before uh, he sent me packing. Uh, Mr. Randy Abe is the board member of the Ghana Football Association and also the spokesman and director of communications for the Ghana Football Association. Randy.
Thank you very much, Ibrahim. Your Excellency, March organizer, March agent, um, colleagues, good afternoon. And it um, feels very exciting to be here. And I guess that. Um, it's quite an honor to be introduced by Ibrahim, who says I sent him packing. What he didn't tell you was that I sent him packing to study in the UK and to work at the BBC. <laughs> <laughs> On behalf of the president of the Football Association and um, the Black Stars, um, we're very excited about this game and um, I'm also very excited about the fact that my brother is not the organizer of the match. <laughs> that, um, well, you know, he did the game, he represents Nigeria. He did the game for Nigeria, they won 4 1. This game has been organized by a Ghanaian, and so I guess that you should know what the scoreline will be. <laughs> We know that uh, matches of this, this nature are very, very um, tense. They bring all the excitement in the game. They are not friendlies, although it's supposed to be a FIFA friendly. A Ghana Nigeria game is more than a competitive game because it's about, it's about image, it's about uh, pedigree, it's about egos. And trust me, we're fully aware that Nigeria is still not recovered from the last friendly here, and the fact that we made it worse in Angola. And so we know that um, you really need this game, the Nigerians need this game at least to claw back some respect. And uh, they go it by the fact that they beat Argentina 4-1. Unfortunately, we'll play you, God willing, with John Mensah, with Asama Jan, with everybody. Michael and everybody. We will not leave some people behind. And and we will not behave like some other people behaved. So you should expect a very good game. And I guess that flowing from the England game, there are a lot of Ghanaians who would want to come to England again. I guess there are a lot of Ghanaians here and non Ghanaians who were excited about the performance of our team against England who now know that the performances at the World Cup um, were not a fluke, and so would want to watch Ghana again. And I can promise you that we'll bring the best of our players, we would give you the best of football, and we will continue to maintain our supremacy over Nigeria. There's no doubt about that. Uh, for our colleague journalist, or my colleague journalist here, I would um, appeal to you to continue to promote the game and for us to get as many uh, of our people as possible into the stadium. I have seen some statistics that suggest that our brothers are a lot more in this country. But I guess that both countries are beyond 17,000 people. And so if you're able to promote the game well and our people get to the stadium on time or buy their tickets on time, we might have maybe a lot of them outside the stadium and us being the majority in the stadium. So we can cheer our boys. And when John and his colleagues see our people cheering them up, you obviously charge them to give a very, very good performance on the day. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Randiabe. Uh, my colleagues from the media, we're expecting to have um, some Nigerian players, but because of a hitch, they couldn't come. The special arrangements are being made, especially from the, um, the written press, to speak with these players um, via the phone now. We can do one-on-one -on -one interviews with some of the players that we've already um, agreed that they should come here to speak. And uh, on this moment, I can announce to you that Asamwajan has promised to do a half-time show uh, during the Ghana-Nigeria game uh, with Castro. So Castro will be flying in here. In fact, this time it's not African girls. The new one is what, do the dance. <laughs> so uh, that is the promise Asamoah has made. 
Um, Ghana Captain John Mensah will give us a short address before we can take um, a question and answers, please. They call him Rocky Mashiano. It's just like, you know, you've been hit by Victoria Line train. <laughs> uh, good afternoon. Um, I'm speaking on behalf of the team. Uh, I'm so excited to be part of a uh, uh, press conference uh, this afternoon. Ghana against Nigeria. First of all, I traveled to the uh, United States, as in New York, for a award ceremony there. And after then, now, uh, I moved back to the UK also. So um, because of the press conference, I'm here. And I'm so excited to meet you, meet you here. And any questions that you want, I'm ready to answer. Thank you. Rocky. So Rocky can take his seat now, and then um, uh, we'll take we'll start taking the questions. After we've taken the questions, we'll also make the arrangements for those who want to speak with some of the Nigerian players. I'll get the names of the Nigerian players, so the written press can speak with them for uh, their one-on-ones, please. Um, yes. Any questions, please.